Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. We need your help. Kind of an unusual uh, thing, but I need you to put your detective hats on and uh, help us out. Give us some ideas here, because we're scratching our heads. In the past, we've, we've lost a few birds, mostly to hawks. You know, a, a hawk uh, comes and takes one and it's gone. You know, or we actually came home and the hawk was partially devouring uh, the animal or our uh, hen and left it uh, on the other side of the garden. Uh, more left it because uh, we surprised it. Um, we've had a fox, you know, they kind of tear it apart and then they grab the bird and run and eat it somewhere else. Um, I don't think we've lost a hen to a coon. Um, I, I don't think we've ever had a coyote attack. Uh, mostly when they've come by here, they run the road, um, and it's usually in the middle of the night. So today, let me just, I'm, I'm prefacing all this just to give you a little background. Um, so I've seen bird attacks, I've seen the result of a fox attack, um, I've seen it, one get hit by a car or whatever. Um, let me set the scene for what I came home to, and I'm gonna do it mostly behind the camera here. So I'm walking, uh, we did some pickup, uh, so there's not gonna be any blood and guts. I um, came home and here on our driveway up about right there, about that, that weed, was one of our fake eggs. Now our eggs are in the barn. Our eggs are in the barn. So this is, I don't know, 80 feet away. Our little girls, are in, they're either inside in the, the coop, you see the coop there, uh, inside, or I'll show you, maybe it's too much in the shadows, and then they can go through their door, and they can be outside. Show you their little area, it's all fenced off. Can they get out of there? Yes, occasionally, very, very rarely, but occasionally, one will get some momentum and flap its wings, and all of a sudden it's over the top. So I come out here to the barn and I see some little groupings of feathers. And I know those feathers, that's one of our uh, Americana babies. Now here's the, see the girls are inside chilling down, eating, but they can go through that door outside. So, you know, this is Fort Knox. There is nothing that's going to get inside this coop from top, bottom, side, whatever, nothing. The only way that one of our girls could have been taken is my first thought, okay, it's out here, it's a hawk. It's a hawk took it and uh, grabbed it in here, flew or brought it out here, made the kill, and then uh, flew it away, because I don't see a, a body. I came in here, now I've cleaned up, I should have done this uh, before, but on the ground, uh, fake egg, uh, real egg, fake egg, underneath all these, uh, every one of these um, uh, nesting boxes had been completely cleaned out. There were eggs against the the wood there, uh, there were, there was one over here that was a real egg that um, had teeth marks in it, two teeth marks about an inch and a quarter apart. It didn't break the, the egg in the back corner here. There were two uh, eggs that were good, hadn't been touched. These boxes had all the fake eggs pulled out and these boxes have been closed for a while because the girls haven't used them so there was nothing no damage to those that I noticed yet so Holly came home and we investigated a little more all eight of our big girls were around um, I whistled them up and they came up so the feathers and she said okay it's over here she saw another feather so we walked around the corner that's where you see quite a bit of damage was done here. Quite a bit of damage 
was done here and over here there's a little bit of damage uh, some feathers and this is where Holly found the carcass the head so it's come around the corner in the past I don't know I've seen that and it kind of makes me think of a uh, like a raccoon or something um, but I don't know for me a raccoon or a fox makes the kill and then takes off with the carcass to leave it here um, there was a, a couple of bites out of the body um, in the the belly and in the back the head was fully intact you know some things will kill and take the head right off um, and, and, and ensure the kill I mean usually a, especially a hawk or something will take the head off uh, right away just to ensure the kill so the carcass was here it was left um, we've sent a note to our neighbor asking if maybe there was a an unusual dog in the area or something um, we have not investigated around like to the corn crib and some of that we'll do more of a walk around I'm gonna really investigate the pole barn and look for paw prints look for teeth on something else especially uh, teeth on the um, on the nesting boxes I'm, I'm uh, perplexed, you know, I want to figure it out because I'm going to work tomorrow and the plan was to open up the barn like we do every day. For me, if it's a fox, that, that darn fox comes back and repeatedly kills until it's run out of food. But to me it doesn't seem like a fox because it would have taken the carcass. A raccoon would come and I could see it pulling out all the eggs and you know there's some smell so it's going after that and maybe all our girls ran away except for this one I I, I don't know you guys uh, throw some ideas out to me uh, give me some ideas I'm gonna try to get my field camera out tonight and post it here so we can uh, see what walks by it's gonna be like 90 degrees tomorrow so I hate to leave the hens you know in the barn uh, with the door closed all day so uh, I'm trying to figure this out but uh, uh, give me your ideas what you think it would be um, it's just such an unusual kill that we're just perplexed but I'll look for uh, some more clues if I find something I'll, I'll tack on to the end of this otherwise I'd love kind of an unusual video uh, but I want to get your ideas uh, to help us prevent further kills uh, so if you got something throw it down below uh, even if it's a theory if you see someone else's theory and you agree or you disagree put comments below theirs uh, you know no offense to anyone you know what uh, throw the ideas out um, if you don't agree with them maybe give uh, point counterpoint I'd love to get a good discussion not a bunch of flaming uh, but a good discussion so love to hear your ideas and as we learn more we'll put it out too thanks so much community uh, chicken community we'd uh, love to hear what you think cheers <laughs>